Hey, Mr. Oh, oh, oh. these violins yeah, are going to what, 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 what's going on? What? Why is what's there going on? Multiple? Oh my god, oh my god, what is it? Ah! 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 What is this so many? Why? How did you do this to me? Ah! <laughs> Hello everybody, I am the Bell and I do it 3000. And, uh... Mm. Pretend that intro sequence never happened. Okay, now today we're going to look at three the uh, three different mods. Yeah, I had to make sure. <laughs> I had to make sure. That's sad. Now the first mod we're going to take a look at is the photo reel mod. But, uh, check this out. The three D model. It's so cute. Now what this mod does. It takes pictures. Now, this mod is loosely based off of the quarter digital video. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, see this chicken? Hey, get back here. I will take a picture of you. Click. Ha <laughs> ha. You are now frozen in time. But not really. But check this out. Ta-da. Isn't that sweet? Oh, yep, he just walked right through it. Now, what's behind the picture, you ask? Nothing. But isn't that cool? Oh, and it's gone. Now, the right mouse button and the left mouse button. Boom. Ta-da. You, too, can make frozen pieces of art. Isn't that sweet? Now, if I angle this correctly... It's like I'm not looking at a picture at all. Okay. Now, there are a certain number of pictures you can take before the camera overheats. See that little lightning bolt down in the lower left corner? Watch as I take several pictures. Yep. The camera overheated. Now, you can configure how long these pictures can last and by changing the configuration file. Now here's the sad part. This camera cannot be crafted. You have to find it in dungeons and strongholds and uh, and any other spawn the structures that spawn with chests in them. And yeah, photo reel, exclusively for 1.7.10, yay. Now we're going to take a look at the iron chest mod, look at her. Now we have iron, look at her, no, but first, we're going to take a look at the regular chest. Now for as you can see, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, mm. seven, eight, nine. If I do the math, I can correctly. Mm. Nine. Yes, nine. Yay, yeah, yeah, math! Now if I do the math, eighteen, twenty-seven. Now, the iron chest adds look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, eighteen. 27, 36, 45, 54 slots. So about as same as a large chest. Hang on. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54. Yeah. The same as a large chest. Now, ugh. <coughs> the gold chest. Wooey. Some hefty math here. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81 slots. Look at it. It can put a lot in there. Now this is the copper chest. Now it's uh, a little bit more than a regular chest. Let's say 9, 18, 27, 36, 45 slots. Now this is a silver chest. Now, 
Is that more than that? Just 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 72. No, it's less. Huh. Okay, this is the diamond chest. I am not counting this. But it is a lot. Oh boy. You can store a lot in this diamond chest. Now all of these are craftable. And I do not know the crafting recipe for the crystal chest. But oh boy, look at there. That's a lot of slots. Whew. Now this is the dirt chest. Beautiful. Now, when you craft it, or you pick it up from creative like I did, you'll get this book on how to use your Dirt Chest 9000. Welcome to your new Dirt Chest 9000. We hope you will enjoy many happy years of storing your stacks of dirt and our storage utility. Simply insert the stack of dirt in your, of your choice into the highly receptive slot and enjoy the great convenience of having that dirt available for you at any time you pass by this chest. We hope you have enjoyed reviewing the instruction manual, and we hope you consider using our products in the future. Can we go to the dirt that chosen chest right is incorporated? Warranty. The product has no warranty of any kind. Your dirt may not be stored and may slowly leach into the environment, or alternatively, it may not do anything at all. The dirt that in the, in the kind of environment, please dispose of this guidebook responsibly, and do not whatever you do. It was just chicken in some lava. It would be very sad. Ah. Uh. Ah! Here we go. Cactus. Yay! Now the writers won't be sad. Alrighty. Now, unlike the photo reel camera, you can craft all of these. And these aren't exclusive to 1.7.10. You can get it off of 1.9, 1.8, well, no. Uh, by the power of magical editing. Okay, now, first off, you need to know how to make a chest. If you don't know how to make a chest, what the hell is wrong with you? Pardon my French, but that needed to be addressed. <coughs> now, to make an iron chest, you just simply surround a chest of iron. And boom. Look at there. Now to make a gold chest. Yep. Boom. Look at there. Gold chest. And to make a diamond chest. That's a little bit weird. You're going to need two. Hello, chicken. Don't interrupt me. Okay. You're going to need two diamonds. Uh, six glass adjacent to each other. If I'm wording that correctly. And boom. You got a diamond chest. Yay. Now to make an obsidian chest, you're going to have to surround your diamond chest with obsidian. And boom! And bam! Voila! This mod is expensive. Yay! Now I have no idea how to make the crystal chest, but I do know how to make the dirt chest. Let's uh, grab some dirt there. Okay, let's make another chest. And surround that chest with dirt. And boom! The dirt chest 9000. Yay! Alrighty. Now the next mod I'm going to look at is Vein Miner. Now what this mod does, uh, first, let me explain. You know how you're going underground, you... Oh my god! So many... Hey, cow. Hey. Okay. Oh my god, so many ores! I have to pick them off one by one! Uh, get it, pick. Uh, okay. Now, you... That'll get tedious. Now, if you press a key, which is configurable... Oh god. Beep! Now, if you press a key... A key... Uh, beep. Now, this gives you a key bind. How do I explain this? Okay, you know what's good. When I crouch, boom. Ta da! I get all the redstone. I crouch, boom. 
I get all the iron. Boom. All the gold. Now they have to be connected. Now. By default. You don't have a lot to work with. But. It's actually very easy to configure. Hey hang on. And go to mods. And go to vein miner. Voila. Ta da. I can add a tool to this. It's very fr mod friendly. Well, kind of. Okay, you can add a block. Okay, let's uh, check out the hoe. Ooh, I can get rid of melons with the hoe. Alrighty. Now let's go back to the world. Alrighty, now that we know what we're dealing with. That's, uh, I do not have a hoe. Oh. Beep! Well, it's very easy to configure. For instance, by default, you cannot vein mine using a shovel. But, if you can configure it, that happens. Ta da! Alrighty. And now, that's a lot of things. Now, when you first start up Minecraft, and all of a sudden you have a diamond pick. Diamond pick. That would be impressive. Now all of a sudden you have a diamond axe. Be like, how did I get this diamond axe? You're gonna start using it immediately. And boom. Ta da! Now this works for all of wood types by default. So you're good. You don't have to configure anything. Hey, yeah, blah. Hey, yeah, blah. And hey, blah. Boom. Yay! Oop! Ta da! Now, this mod is really, really useful when it comes to mining. Like me. I went brain dead. Beep! Now, this mod is really useful when you're down in the mines like me and you see all this stone. Ugh. Oh my god, so many command blocks! Oh my god, it's raining! Why did they do that? Alrighty. Now, oh my god, so much stuff. And, uh, you're gonna get power hungry when you start using vein miner. And start to wonder how you could have lived life without it. Okay. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Like cows, if you like cows. Mm -hmm. Hello. How do you do? Ooh. Moo. Thanks for being here if you like it. And I'll see you in the next video. Very well, my people. You did not see the intro.